Hi, I'm Carol Revae, and I wanted to go over and do a, how to set up a new campaign with Traffic Wave. I thought it'd be a good idea to do this because Traffic Wave did a, a an update to their back office a little bit where it changed a few things. So I thought I would uh, do a, a new video. Now, creating a new campaign is very easy. It's, it's uh, nothing to be frightened of. Um, with Traffic Wave, if you're not 100% certain, Traffic Wave is an autoresponder and it houses your messages in one place and automatically sends them out to your prospects to you or for you. Okay, so um, a couple of reasons why I, I like Traffic Wave there's other autoresponders out there that are like AWeber, MailChimp. Get response just to make, name a, a couple. There's a ton of them out there. I like Traffic Wave because it's double opt in. Once they enter their name into or their email into it, and it's like this, you'll see um, you enter your email into this, and then um, it redirects to a different page, and then you start getting uh, messages sent to you. But in order to get the messages sent to you, you have to go back to your email to validate your email that you want the information. So if a prospect's going through that to, to do that, it has to go back to their email to validate their email that they want to get the information, that's a really good prospect. That's one of the reasons why I like Traffic Wave. The other big reason is it's very inexpensive. No matter how big your list gets, it's always only $17.95. Um, a month. Okay, now you can try it out for 30 days free, but just a warning if you're um, using it and you have people that come in and upgrade, you won't start earning commissions until you, you're a uh, upgraded member in Traffic Wave. Okay, so um, and Traffic Wave is what my team uses to uh, to grow your list. It's very important to grow your list. Um, the money's in the follow up. You know, very few people sign up for anything the first time they see an offer. They normally need to see it come come to them a few times. And sending out automated follow-up messages through an autoresponder gives you a chance to um, have them see your name come in front of them a few times. So this is your Traffic Wave back office after you've logged in. You just go over here and click Create New Campaign. <clears throat> okay, then you click get started. Then you type in your campaign here. Okay. Um, I'm going to type in power, power team begin. Okay. Now that's for my, for the team that I'm in. My campaign name is actually just Power, uh, Power Team. But when you put your, your campaign na team name in here, or your campaign name in here, all lowercase and all one word, no spaces, all right? Or it, it won't work properly. Okay, then you just click Next. Okay, and it enters your name and your email. Then you... You type in your campaign name again, Power Team Begin, I'm going to call it. Okay, again, all lowercase, one word, no spaces. Click Next. Okay, the most work that really needs to be done with this is either creating messages or editing messages that you get from your from your team okay now next all you do have to do is click this little button and this populates your address and everything right in for you and then you just click next so i'm going to do that and i'll be right back okay i just clicked next and it comes up to notification of subscribers and you want to be notified when somebody subscribes to your to your mailing list and then you Leave it in English if if that's your language. Click next, and then simply 
This is once they request more information. This is where their link is. Please can click the link to confirm your subscription. That's when they'll start getting your messages once they do that. Okay, you can change that message. You can edit this message if you want to. Okay, and then just go through the policies. And once you've read the policies, if you agree with them, click that. If not, then you're done using Traffic Wave if you don't agree with them. Then click Finish. Now you're not finished because one of the most important parts of this is coming up. It's creating letters. Okay, you can either create them or you can, um, like I said, um, retrieve a published campaign. Now one, one thing, one complaint, one thing that I don't like about Traffic Wave is that I think their capture pages are old and outdated and I don't like them. So I use, uh, my team has a number of capture pages, 15 different capture pages that we use. So I would suggest you can use Traffic Wave's capture page, capture pages if you want to. And, you know, you can just go over. It's very simple to do that. Uh, or you can, uh, either way, you're going to have to set up your own letters, though. So you just click that link that I just clicked there before for letters that takes you to this page. Okay, now you've clicked this letter form. So you can either create a new letter, take a look at letter templates, and set up the delays once you set up your letters. Schedule a broadcast. See, you can't do any of those things until you've created letters or you retrieve a published campaign. Okay. So when you create a new letter, you just click that right there. Okay, now I know a lot of people use the big fancy templates. And I have to say what has worked for me is just plain letter. Just a plain, nothing fancy, nothing big, bright bold letters, just an ordinary letter has worked for me. Okay, but I'm going to, but that's, uh, let's see. Let me go back to this for a second. When you're doing the letter, you would just, I just click the, the, the letter. You can either copy and paste whatever letter that you have, or maybe your sponsor has some, or you can type right in there. And then this is where you bold it and you do all the special things to it that you want. Okay. But um, my team, if you're part of my team, we have... Uh, published letters. So right here is where you would do is retrieve published campaign. Okay. Now all you do is enter the ID and the ID number and the five digit code. And then you just select the campaign. Now, if this is your first campaign, of course, you're not going to have anything in there. So you would select the campaign that you would just create and then you would click that. Now I'm going to do that. I'm going to go get, but because this is public, so I'm not going to put in my ID and five digit code. You're going to have to message me or of course sign up with me and then message me for the information. We send out a resource page. Um, <clears throat> this is the page that you'll see down below that shows um, the two the two programs, the systems that we use to create this marketing system. And here's the capture pages that you can choose from. Okay. And this one's the one I use. And again, let me go, go retrieve the autoresponder ID number and five digit code. And that would be sent to you if you sign up 
with my team that the uh, code and everything would be sent to you so you can do that so you can retrieve your campaign okay so I entered the code and then clicked retrieve campaign and then letters were successfully retrieved go to campaign now okay and the last bit you'll need to do is to go into so you're at the campaign now you click the letters and you go to edit the letters I believe it tells you how many we'll just go to right up here where it says review and edit letters Yep, and here's the letters right here. There's uh, 14 of them, and it goes up to 19 days because they're spaced differently. Now, I do have have more letters of my own that I can give you if you want. If you want to, mine would go up to 60 days, I believe. Okay, but just for a quick basic, you click that, and you see you can edit this letter, you can preview the letter schedule a broadcast you can copy it or duplicate it letter history you can remove it you click edit to edit it okay and then you see this right in here you would just edit this right here these links in here you would edit i would just take that link out and i'm gonna copy my link and put it in there left click right click and paste okay so I got to do control V there and it goes right in there and I'm gonna do that again and control V there and that's the yeah, copy and paste and put put that in there and then you come up over here and click save letter oh you know i forgot a real important part of this um okay so it's gonna go back oh return to campaign Okay, what you need to do is go over here to campaign to capture page forms. Go down to define capture fields. This is very important because for for any kind of a capture page system, if you get the capture page system that I have, it will not work if you do not do this. See where it shows the name? You need to turn the name field off by clicking that button. And it's just warning you that it's going off so because with the capture page all the capture pages only ask for your email because you get a better a better uh, conversion rate with when you're only asking for their email okay so ooh, I almost forgot that and it automatically saves that you don't have to click down in the bottom or anything but that's it then just go back to your letters right up here and finish editing your letters and you're all steady, ready to rock and roll. As I said before, this is this is the system that we have. It's a very inexpensive system that includes uh, GDI, Global Domains International, and Traffic Wave. And you get the whole system for less than a dollar a day. It's 93 cents a day if you want to do that. Or you can just go through Traffic Wave and just use Traffic Wave right here by setting up a new campaign. Okay, well that was it for now, and uh, I hope you could find this video helpful. If you did, please like and sh share it and give it a thumbs up, and if you like to watch any more of my videos, subscribe. Okay, thank you, and have a great day, and talk soon.